What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Big Bike BMX. My name is Isaac, and I just got a package that I paid for from Supercross. I'm pretty excited. Because, okay, it says <laughs> Advanced Technology Carbon Fiber BMX Racing Bar. Promise you that it is not, uh, because I already have a pair of these. These ones I bought uh, off of the website. Didn't even tell Bill until after I placed the order. Because I really wanted some flatline BMX bars. I love the carbon bars that Bill sent uh, for that I have on my race bike. He sent them out. And I was like, dude, I want these in Pro Molly because I love the bend and the rise of them. And so he's like, yeah, dude, it's the same as these bars. So uh, after he told me that, I just went online and ordered some bars. Okay, here we go. Some paper. It's kind of good. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. So some stickers that seem like every time you buy something from Supercross, I always feel like stickers get thrown in. So I'm super psyched about that. More stickers and more stickers. There you go. And more stickers. There you go. Cross BMX. I love those rider stickers, dude. I think they're great. Oh, my guy KJ. I only have one of the KJ stickers, but he's doing so good right now. Shout out to KJ Romero. All right. This is my invoice one of one Supercross BMX Flatline Pro BMX Racing Bars. There you go. All right, you guys. This is what they look like. This is the flatline, super cross flatline bars. Uh, they are eight inches tall, 28 wide, uh, six back. So you got numbers, right? So three, it's three degrees up or two degrees, two up and six back. And so that, that feels, I love the feel of the carbon bars uh, that I have on my race bike. I have an NV RS7 that the carbon bars are on. I wanted those same bars, but because this is my big wheelie bike uh, and I do just goofy stuff on it, um, I spend more time. I spend the most amount of time on this 26 inch SX 250. So that's what these are going on. But I wanted chromoly bars because I've learned if you guys watch the, the Supercross YouTube videos that he that Bill Ryan is doing, he does Tech Tip Tuesdays. And so every Tuesday he has a new video. He talks about the difference between aluminum, carbon and uh, chromoly ones. And chromoly gives you a little bit more flex. It's not as it's not as stiff, a little bit more forgiving. So coming down off of a wheelie, like lately I've been trying one-handed wheelies, right? So when I ride a wheelie and I let go with one hand, a lot of times I have to come back down and catch quick to continue. So or I'm gonna crash, right? You can't land with your handlebars turned. So I'll come back and catch quick, go down. Having a little bit of forgiveness because of chromoly and, and the flex and the strength of this. For me, that's that's what I was looking for. Uh, so I bought these uh, because I really wanted some Cromoly bars. Even though I'm sponsored by Supercross, uh, I was just listening to the, the episode, saw that they had some, wanted to try them out. So I went online and bought them. Um, I'm so excited to put these on my bike and go and try them out because uh, the two-piece bars are my favorite. Uh, I've always just, it's what I love. Actually, growing up, my favorite handlebars were like the knee saver bars, like the Peregrine Q bars, the uh, the knee savers from Haro, the low drags from Hoffman. I just really liked that style of real wide bar um, for Flatland. As I came back to BMX, I bought a pair of the knee savers and I bought two pairs of the uh, Colony Friday Q bars that are basically, they look like Peregrine Q bars from the 80s. I want to ride those so bad but I cannot seem to get comfortable riding them. I remember riding Flatland on those bikes and those types of bars and loved it. And I just cannot seem to get comfortable with the, the bars that I'm able to acquire now. So uh, I just went back to basics a couple of years ago in 20, I, well, yeah, 2020, I went back to just mostly riding a two piece BMX bar, just like this. Um, one of the things that I do love about this bar um, the packaging is cool, right? looks like a number plate. I think that's pretty legit. But what I do like about this is the lower crossbar down here. It's a little bit lower than like like an SE. Usually the crossbar is like a little bit higher. So a lower crossbar I think is really cool. 
Can't wait to go try these out. I'm going to go put them on the bike. We'll talk about how to install some handlebars. If you've never done it, I'll show you uh, how I do it, how I get the position forward, backwards. Like, are you a Chicago style rider? Are you like pulling, or did you run your bars way back, almost in your lap? It depends. A lot of people do different things. I'm going to talk about what I do for my size being, you know, 5'11 and 50 years old on a 26 inch BMX bike. We'll talk about how I set up my bars. So. So let's go talk about how we set up handlebars, positioning, and all that stuff. Let's go. It'll be fun. Many unbearable hours later. All right, y'all. Going to take off these old Broke Boys bars. Going to take off the uh, the bar ends from Evil Alloy. Take off the grips. Take off the... First of all, uh, take out the brake cable inside of here. That. Take this out. Take this off. Use the half-inch... Uh, because it's an American product. Half inch Allen to take these four bolts, take off the top, swap the bars, put everything back. So let's go. It's actually quarter. I said half. It's quarter inch. So this is what we'll take off the evil alloy. So yeah, quarter inch. Confirming it. Let me feel. That's it. Okay, cool. For say, we're going to take off the brake in the back, like so. That way that gives me the ability to pull this out. All right, there we go. So grips are off, bar ends are off, brake cable is out. I'm going to loosen that bolt right there, which will then let me slide this off. This is a 2.5 Allen. I'll loosen that up, slide this off. All right, so I'm gonna loosen these bolts up in a star pattern going zigzag. So I'm gonna go, you can't see them on top, but I'm gonna loosen, 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 loosen. That way they all come off at the same time. One. Now I'm going, that was this side, now I'm gonna go to the opposite corner, grab that one. Set my bars down, they're getting looser. All right, we got all four bolts out, so I'm gonna take off the top cap, set that aside. Grab those bars, you guys, I got a monsoon coming in trying to get this done before the rain and the crazy weather hits. Yo! Please don't fall on my house. <laughs> All right. Gonna set the new bars on here. I apologize about the wind, you guys, but I'm trying to get this done before that storm kicks. And I'm gonna line up the neural like that. And I'm gonna grab the top and I'm gonna thread in just loosely thread in in a star pattern before this gets cramped down clamped down before this gets clamped down to the top so i can adjust where i want the bars but i can't do it with one hand so i'm gonna grab that cap put it on here thread in the four bolts in a star pattern i'll go here 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 hand tighten let's go all right so i got the bars on i got the bolts hand tightened in there all right. You guys, look at that storm coming in. Oh, yeah. I could hear it. That's why I came out. Oh, is that why you came out to see it? Yeah, yeah dude. Same. I've been like, yo. All right. So I'm just going to hand tighten these, get the bars where I want them, centered. All right, you guys. So what I do is I keep the bars about level with the fork, about right there. And I'll do some slight adjustments in a second, and I'm gonna tighten these up just a bit. So I know that's a good starting spot. For any set of handlebars, I always start in the same spot. And that way, when you are getting used to them, you're always at the same spot. Yeah. 
Bro, I want, do me a favor. Stand over here so you're inside the garage in case that branch falls. Yeah. It's pretty gnarly. Yeah. All right, so what I'm looking at is the spacing in the front and the back, making sure it's somewhat close. It is. I'm gonna grab some alcohol. I'm gonna put the grips on, put the lever on. I'll be right back. Yeah. I'm just taking some uh, rubbing alcohol because it evaporates quick. And I can get it on the bar super easy. Right there. All right. Put in the evil alloy bar in, tighten it down on the non brake side. All right, so there's one. Let's get the brake lever on over here. Let that slide. I just pour alcohol down the center, swirl it around a little bit, and then while it's still kind of soaked, slide this on, and the alcohol will, it's pretty flush. Finger feel. Okay. Let's see, that's not coming out. Switching Allen wrenches here. I'm going to tighten this down. Now my brake levers drives everybody nuts. I talk about this all the time. I leave mine where I can move them with my finger. About right there. All right, with that, connect the brake. There we go. Final adjustments and we're done, you guys. We got it done before the storm hit. Pretty psyched. All right. All right, y'all. That's it for the install on the Supercross flatline eight inch bars. It takes just about 10 minutes, even if there's a storm coming. I am gonna go inside now and avoid uh, all this rain and crazy. See you later, take care, bye. Alright, we'll go this way. You got it? No, you're doing it right. Alright, so it's been a couple days since I put the, the flatline bars on. I really like the balance. They're very, very easy to control. Balance and controlled, easy to use. 